Hi guys, it's Jenny. So I have yet another grocery haul for you. Um, after filming the bulk food haul a few days ago, um, today we went back out for our week's worth of fruit and veg. So I'm going to share that with you. I have already filmed showing you the fruit and veg, but I'm so awkward when my family's around and I'm trying to record. So I might redo the audio now and I'm, I'm filming the intro and outro here in the car around the corner from home because it's just less awkward. So there you go. Um, yeah, so hopefully this is also interesting for you. This is um, a week's worth of stuff. And I think the reason we get an okay price is when we go into the wholesale fruit and veg seller, we go in looking for what's cheap this week. Um, we don't go in for like specifically, you know, sweet potatoes, potatoes, um, red onions instead of brown onions. We're kind of open minded about the ingredients that we're going to use. Sometimes that varies, but as you can see, We've been eating a lot of cabbages recently. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, really sick of cabbage. But they're a good price for one meal. We only use half of a cabbage. So the cabbage in this grocery haul will last for six meals. So you can't really scoff at that. First of all, we have 15 kilos of bananas for $44. I will put the per kilo price on the screen. Then these cabbages, they were $4 each for the large cabbage and $3 for the sugar loaf cabbage, which is a bit smaller. Six cobs of corn and they were three for $2. We got a 10 kilo box of peaches for $26. Uh, then we've got an iceberg lettuce for $2.99. The garlic was $2.84 for the two knobs of garlic. Uh, we've got a pumpkin or squash, depending on where you're from. It was $1.49 a kilo, so this pumpkin was $4.51. Two one kilo bags of nectarines the white nectarines for $2.99 each. We got two pineapples for $5 for the two. And that is everything from the wholesale fruit shop. So all in all, we spent $106.30 from there. Then we stopped at, and I got some footage of this, so I will insert that too. We stopped at a local farm on the way home. Um, and we normally just get limes from them for $2 a kilo. It's their seconds. So the limes are really delicious and juicy. They just don't look perfect on the outside. They might have little black marks. But it's never mold or anything like that. And they last for weeks and weeks and weeks in the fridge. So they're very fresh. They just don't look perfect. So they're $2 a kilo or $2 a bag. Uh, they also had passion fruits this time. So we got... Three bags of passion fruit, $2 each. So I spent $10 uh, on the side of the road at that farm. And then finally, we stopped at Woolworths to get a few things. And we got, we got carrots for $1.50 a kilo. We got some tomatoes. They were $3 a kilo. And we just got $1.88 worth of tomatoes. And we got a red onion for a dollar. And we got a cucumber for a dollar ninety. And I also got two dozen eggs, free range eggs from Woolworths for three dollars eighty. We didn't need to buy any meat this week because we already had it. Uh, so what we do for meat, normally we buy a ten dollar chicken from our local butcher. We used to buy the chicken from Aldi, but it doesn't have as much meat on it, and it's not as good a quality, and 
anyway so what we do is we roast that chicken and then I will pull all the meat off and divide it into four and then I freeze the cooked meat and then we'll throw that into soups or stews or something um, at most we'll use two bags a week often we'll only put chicken in something once a week so that will actually last four weeks um, but yeah so every two, three, four weeks we buy a chicken, roast it, and then divide up the meat. Um, at the moment we also have some beef mince. Uh, my husband was really craving it. I'm not a huge fan of beef anymore. I used to be when we used to live in Australia. Back when we were younger, growing up, I really liked beef. But for whatever reason, after I stopped eating beef, I just I don't like it anymore. Um, but what we did was we bought, um, it was in the clearance section for meat, um, and it was $6 for a kilo of beef mince. And what I did was I, I just guesstimated it. I like broke the mince in half and then those halves in half again. So I quartered the mince and froze that in individual sandwich bags. And then if he just feels like putting some mince in with something. So it ends up being $1.50 per meal for beef mince. If we throw that in. Um, yeah, so that's the meat. We don't actually need to buy any this week. But we did buy the mince last week. And the chicken is an ongoing cost. Depending on how much chicken we're eating, it's $10 every two weeks. Sometimes that stretches to every three or four weeks, just depending. But mostly we eat beans as our protein in most meals. Uh, yeah, just thought I would mention that. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!